so many requests to show you how to make my Rubik's blanket. This is the stairway to heaven version. You can make it in many, many, many versions, of course. And I'm going to show you how to make this version here today. Uh, the full colorway here, I used Chappas uh, color pack in, in river washed and stone washed. Absolutely loved working with that. The full colorway is included in the pattern along with loads of borders and all kinds of extras because you can make these in all kinds. So much fun. The Rubik cube, you turn it always on every ways and you can make super different things with it. But today I'm just gonna show you from start to finish the whole repeat for this blanket here. It's 28 stitches across and 28 rows up. And we're gonna do just this little uh, sample here. It's on the blocking form because I just blocked it. That's the last part of the video to show you how to block it as well. And so this is the repeat for this version here, which is so much fun. I love the funky groovy lines in this. Whoop! <laughs> so 70s and so cool. Uh, and yes, since I'm doing the video, finally, I thought I'd put a little offer on the pattern. Always really appreciate when you guys buy my patterns as well as support. Uh, although, of course, it's so happy to also show you how to just make them. And I'm going to put 30% 30 uh, 30 discount on the Rubik pattern until the end of this month. Just no code needed. I'll just put a, a flat discount on that one. Uh, no, no, no. I'll put the code Rubik. Sorry. <laughs> Rubik. <laughs> and then you get the discount of 30%. Uh, hope you have fun with this one. And actually, in the pattern itself, in this one, you have so many different charts and borders and everything. So I will check that out. But for now, we're just going to get to it show you this one here from start to finish even to the blocking and whoa and, oh let's go Woo! okay so i wanted to show you the pattern so it's called rubik because it's like a rubik cube you can turn it all the way around so basically the the um, the staple of the pattern are just two set of tiles one is like this with a small box here and then there's the thin line and two thick lines you see like all these and then there's another type that has a bigger box and then two thin lines and one thick yeah so it's just this pattern and this one here and then you can turn them like a rubik's cube all every way you want and you can do it randomly like i did here you see or you can do it more uh, organized like on this one here so the this one here i made on with dk yarn uh, and a four millimeter hook and this one i made with fingering weight yarn and a 2.5 millimeter hook so this one is quite but i really love this one the pink one i love them both actually and i think it's great to you know it just shows you how versatile the pattern is that it just depends on how you like this one here only has the tiles with a bigger um box here you see, like this one. And then, no, the smaller one, yeah. The bigger lines here, yeah. So you can just go every which way with it. And then I made the blanket. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, so here I actually used the, one of the Shepes color packs for, for river washed and stone washed, and I love it. And I made just a, a little fade. And here you see it's all organized. So here I did a different... Version. I called this one, I think, Stairways to Heaven. And you see, it kind of gives like a sort of like a groovy 70s vibe with the little waves. Sorry about my shadow in the in the in the in the picture. Hope you don't mind. Can't be bothered. But yes, we just focus on the pattern. And you look this lovely color fade here. It was so much fun to work with the Shapis color pack. Jesus, I love it. Uh, so this here is the version that I'm gonna show you in the video actually. Because then it's just, I'm just going to show you really uh, one repeat here and one here. It's just these two repeats over and over again. Uh, and it's really fun to do and easy. And as you can see, it has a really groovy, fun 
um, finishing effect. So that, let's get to it. On we go to the Rupert Cube. Wow. Okay, so off we go. Um, I've already done the chain up. So the repeat here, whoops, is uh, 28 stitches. Sorry. Um, and if you're working it in the round, then you just chain up multiple times 28 as you want. But if you're going to do it flat, like I'm going to do this sample here with you guys, then you have to add five to that. So you can do as many times 28 as you want, plus five extra. Okay, I'm just doing one repeat. So that's 28 plus five, that's 33. Okay, so I have 33 chains here. And I'm just using these colors here. I love this color. This is um, both Shepard's Cardona. Um, this is like sort of like burgundy scent, so nice. And this is some gray here. It's just for the purpose of this little sample. Um, so yeah, so I already did 33. And then I'm just going to do one more, uh, which is just a turn in this first uh, row, row. And then I'm going to work row one is just one single crochet into each stitch. And we're not going to work into the first stitch. That's why we did that one here extra, you see, because we can't work into the one that we're coming out of. And so we go into the second one and just single crochet that's going into the loop, pulling the yarn up like so, and going over and through both. Okay, I'm using a three millimeter hook and I'm just going to go and do the whole of row one, like so, just one single crochet into each stitch. Okay, so I did... 33 single crochets here and then at the end of the row, row I'm gonna cut I don't have to leave very much just a few centimeters maybe an inch and a bit more an inch or two okay so that was row one and we are gonna go ahead and go straight on to row two um and we start again from the beginning, from the right, always from the right to left. If you are a mosaic virgin, then please do check out my beginner series. There I show you this all very slowly and and, and uh, calm, <laughs> with more calm, um, how to do this. Yeah. But now we're going to go just a bit faster. So we're going to do the porter stitch of the beginning of the row. Always the same. Then we're going to work into both loops here. Go onto both loops, pull up our... our or loop and do one chain and then do one single crochet into both loops again of this first stitch of the round. This is the border stitch at the beginning of the row. And we do it the same every row. It always starts the same. And then this row here is just one single crochet always into the back loop of each stitch. So now we should then have, if you're just doing one repeat, then we have 33 and it's one border stitch on each end. So it's the border stitch, 31 single crochets into the back loop. And then the border stitch at the end of the row. It's been a while since I've done a... Or was it? Yeah, like a couple of months since I've done a tutorial. Just got this little thing to have underneath. I think it's very nice. It's a bit a bit scrappy. Got it second hand, but it's very pretty. And my table is all stained, so I thought this would be a nice solution. Whoopala! No, 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 no. Okay. Always into the back loop. Like so, leaving this front loop here for future shenanigans. <laughs> no, to put the double crochets down there and make the pattern. I'm too far along now to cut and <laughs> I just have to try and talk until the end of the row. <laughs> Uh, okay, almost there, and just it's just one into each until you only have one stitch left here. And there's one and two. And then we're going to do the border stitch at the end of the row. And then we're going to do, and remember this one here, this does not count as a stitch, that's just the extra slip stitch we do at the end of each 
row to close it off. And we're going to work into this here, which is the last stitch of the row, the last single crochet of the row. And we're going to go into both loops and pull our yarn up like so and yarn over and go through two. And that is the porto stitch at the end of the row. Always work the same. Each and every row, cut the yarn, yarn over and just do one, whoops, one chain here in the end before we pull it through, just to give it a nice sturdy and firm finish here. Okay, so that was row two. And as always in mosaic crochet, we are switching colors each row. And I'm gonna go back to color A. D -d 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 -d. Oops, I should have done that before um, pushing play, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, so again, board the stitch at the beginning of the row. Like so, and then we have one stitch here at the beginning, which is not part of the repetition, okay? At the beginning of each row, we have the border stitch and one stitch that is not part of the repetition. And at the end of each row, then we have the border stitch and two stitches here, which is not part of the repetition. It's to finish it off just at the beginning and end of each row. So if you're making more um, repetitions, obviously, if you're going to make a blanket or something bigger than this, then, you know, these two here in the beginning and the three in the end are sort of uh, outside the parenthesis. <laughs> okay, so here in this one, then we do the border stitch and then this one stitch at the beginning of the row, we're going to do a double crochet. So we yarn over, we find out where we find our next um, stitch here and we follow it down and go into the loop here. One row down into the gray as we have gray on our hook and then we're going to pull the yarn up out of that loop and we have three up on our hook. We're going to yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through two. So this is the basic a double crochet there and then we have the repetition for row this is row three and that is just one single crochet into each and every stitch for the next 28 stitches that is the repetition remember so basically what we're doing in this repetition is we're like we're um the how the pattern is made with um with the tiles so for each repetition in this here that i'm showing you the stairways to heaven version then we're doing i'm going to show you how to make really like a combo of four tiles that you then just repeat over and over to get that groovy 70s effect i'm just going to go and grab the blanket once i finish this row to show you and on we go I must be honest, I have not counted. I'm not sure that there are 28. I mean, there must be, should be. So I'm just going to count from here. So it's the border stitch plus two more. So that's one more here. That's 28. That's the repetition for row three. Just single crochet into each and every one. And then the end of the row is one single crochet, one double crochet. And then the border stitch at the end of the row and snippity snap <laughs> so that was row three then okay just to show you what we're doing so really we're doing just i'm going to show you this repeat here which is how you start so in this for example here we do the repeat of 28 and then again another repeat of 28 so like 28 is really two tiles because it depends on how you're putting the ruby cubes and then you have you know i have the obviously the all the um charts in the pattern i think it comes with like 20 or 30 pages of charts because it's all kinds of variations but this is the stairways to heaven so this is what i'm showing you here the 28 across is the two tiles and if you're making a blanket like this then you would make various times the 20 the 28 and plus those border stitches and the stitches at the beginning and end of row okay on we go Okay, so that's round four. Next up, color B again. And we start as always with the border stitch at the beginning of the row. And then we do the one extra stitch at the beginning for the repetition. And that is just 
a single crochet here and now we start with a repetition 28 stitches repeat and we are going to do one double crochet and next up are three single crochets one two and three and one double one single one double and one single again okay so that's three and then this double single double single and then we have two four six seven um double crochets okay Okay, it's two, four, six, seven. And then we have two, four, six, after two, twelve, thirteen, thirteen single crochets. So that this is the first tile then here, and then the second one was just all single crochets for this repeat okay now there's moment of truth if i have the right stitch count or not i have one extra Og så, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Ah, no, I have the right, and 13. Nice. Very good. 13 stitches, exactly as it's supposed to be. <laughs> and then the extra stitches here at the end of each row is one double crochet. One single crochet. And the border stitch at the end of the row. And then we go snippity snap. Whoop. That was row four. And for this here, we're going to go do up to row 31 here, just to show you. And then I've shown you all the repeats for how to make a blanket of your own. Off we go, row five, and then that's back with color A, the main color, and then we're painting on the lines really with the pattern color B, which is the pinkish one here. Okay, the two stitches of the beginning of the row are a border stitch and then a double crochet. And this double crochet actually kind of frames up the whole blanket here so i prefer to do this uh, as a front post double crochet so i'm going to show you how i do that and that is ju it's just a normal double crochet but you just work it in a different spot so instead of doing it here you can't do that you can just put it here in the in the um front loop of this one here it just gives a bit of a better edge i um, finish i think is yarn over and go double crochet it just means crocheting under the double crochet here you see and then you're going to yarn over and pull your yarn up and just pull it a bit extra up here because um, so that it's high enough. And then you yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through two. Okay, so this one gets kind of puffed up here and it just gives a neater line. Okay, and uh, we are in row five. So we had these are the first stitches here before the repeat. And now starts the repeat and the repeat is one single crochet, three double crochets.
And it's really nice actually to to work this pot in. I'm just remembering now, it's been a while since I've done it. Because it really just leads you on what's happening. Like you're, uh, yeah, it's, it's like geometrical, nice. Okay, so now we have one single crochet, one double crochet. Basically you're just filling in here, you see? This is a double crochet, then you do the single. You have a single here, then you do the double. And then a single and a double. And then we're going to work seven single crochets here over our double crochets. Okay, so this is the first tile here then, so that's a single crochet, three doubles, one single, double, single, double, and then seven single crochets here. And then on to the next um, tile, and that is just, whoa, like 13, no, 10, 14, 16, 18, 12, 13 double crochets. So every, all over here where we did the single crochets in row four, we're going to do double crochets. So that's 13. And what can I tell you while I did this? I actually went to a funeral today. But it wasn't sad or anything. She was it was my aunt. She was um had lived a long life and um it was just happy that she was going over to the next place. We call it here in Icelandic, we call it Sumerlandith. It's the the, the summer uh, country. <laughs> Probably very and obviously what we have on our mind as a good place, like when it's always summer, right? <laughs> Being from talking Iceland. <laughs> so we say, we say going over to the, the summer country. So she's gone all over to the summer country, gone, which was just great. But anyways, what I was going to say was that there was like a, she, she was always singing and yodeling and just playing guitar. And she was the life of the party everywhere, always in all the horse trips and stuff. And so then before... The funeral started really there was like a guy just a trooper in the church playing songs like like songs we would would sing in the horse trips back in the days and me and my mom were kind of singing along and my and my sister said i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be singing along in the church Tina. like and i was just like you know what i've never been to a party of my auntie helga where one was not supposed and totally allowed and encouraged to sing along so i'm just doing that for the the very last time then and was rather pleased with myself, and I'm, I'm pretty sure she's pleased with me too that I sung sung along in the church. <laughs> okay, so that was the thirteen DC stories. Surprisingly happy, having happened at the funeral, right? You thought you you, you thought I was taking it to the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, and now we're at the end of the row. This was the repetition here, and now at the end of the row, we're gonna do a single crochet here into the double. And then a front post double crochet here again to finish it off. So yarn over, go here under the DC from second to last row. And remember to pull it up a bit generously here. And then yarn over, go through two, yarn over two. And then the border stitch at the end of the row. And snippity snap. Ooh, right. Woohoo, you lay. Woohoo. <laughs> That was for, that one was for my auntie. <laughs> okay, that was row five. All done. Mm, isn't this neat? La, 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 la. On we go to row six. And I just want to show you here quickly that not only are the post-its good for putting the row here, but it's also good when you're reading, like when you're reading the pattern, then you can put it on here. So now I put it here so that I have row six here. Oh, um, it's yeah, it's nice <laughs> so that you don't jump the line. Okay, we're back in color B. Every um, how do you say even number row is um, is color B, and we start with the um, border stitch at the beginning of the row, and then the one extra stitch here is a single crochet. And then starts the repetition. 
and it is one double crochet and so every time here now not just in that first and last stitch of the row but every time i'm working a double crochet into a double crochet most of the time not all the times but when i'm making lines then i always want to do them front post so i'm just going to show you how i do it you can do them normal if you want but it does kind of add to an extra it gives an extra crispiness to the pattern so now we're going to do this here double crochet as a front post because i know i'm making a line here okay so we yarn over and we pull up generously and then we just do a normal crochet a double crochet here and that was the first one in the repetition and now we're going to do three single crochets just one into each of the dcs from last row and these here are going to be double crochets as well and i'm going to work those front post as well because it makes them prettier but you really have to take care if you're working them from post like this to take up like i'm going to show you and then there's one single crochet here and then another double one and when you do these so that they don't get all crumpled you really have to take care to pull it extra up here at this point so that you're up at the point really where you want to be like on top of the otherwise they are too short really you can also do an extended dc but i just kind of find that a bit tedious if i don't have to i'll just give that extra space there and then it's fine okay so that's a double three singles double single double single and then i'm gonna do the seven double crochets and these here are just making a block not a line so i'm just gonna work those normally into the front loop here not as as front post double crochets again you can work them all just normally like this or you can work them even all if you want double uh, front post but that yeah you can do that so it's just a matter of preference really i am just showing you how i do it okay that's seven double crochets and we're on to the second here do, 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 do. so we're just gonna go here all around okay. and then we're just gonna do 13 single crochets here all over our double crochets i'm very happy actually i i've been i've been i promised to make this well yeah i've been on my way to make this tutorial since last summer when i did the pattern and i'm very happy that now i was eager to do it because i'm gonna do a purse for my mom it's her birthday next week uh so i thought i could do it in this pattern and now once i've started i am very eager to start the purse okay so this was the 13 single crochets and then the three extra stitches here at the end of this row is one double crochet here into this double crochet i'm gonna work that one as a front post because we're making a line give it a generous pull there and finish and then there's one single crochet and then there's the border stitch and snippity snap yolly <laughs> okay that was row six all done okay we're up to row seven and i did the border stitch at here at the beginning of the row and then the extra stitch is a front post double crochet here and then we are going to do one single crochet three double crochets And then there is a single crochet here and a double crochet. And since I'm making a line, it's just a, it, it's just standing here single. I'm going to do that as a front post. So basically, yeah, when they're standing single, the double crochets and I'm working a double crochet into it, then I want to do it as a as a front post so that it makes a neater line. OK, and then a single and then a double, which I'm going to do a front post. and then it's just single crochets here over to the seven seven and then i'm gonna do And then I'm going to do 10 single crochets now for the next tile. So that was 7 plus 10, so that's 17 single crochets here in a row. Okay, 
Okay. Chino, and then three double crochets. And these are not standing single like the other ones, so we're just gonna work them normally. And then the three extra stitches in row seven are the single crochet here, double crochet that we work as a post, a front post, and then the bottom stitch at the end of the row. Snippity snap, boop boo. Okay, so that's row seven. All done. Up to row nine, no, eight, sorry. And we started with the border stitch and one single crochet. And then on to the repeat. And we're going to do one double crochet. We do that with a front post because it's a line. Three singles. Another double here. And that's a front post. Single double front post single and then seven single and now we have like two rows of sing of double crochets here of like seven in a in you know going together so you want to either maybe go down a hook size or or try and work these rather tightly just so they don't bulge you know so that's seven double crochets here and maybe try and do them a little more tight. You could also do like half double crochets. Like it's just once we're doing like in many rows in a in a row and a block of them like this, then sometimes you want to try and make them a little smaller. Okay, that was the seven. And now we are going to do nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to do a double crochet here. And as you can see, it really does lead you on. You sort of know what, what's coming. And then three single crochets. In many parts at least it's like a very nice to work on it it really does lead you on and then we get to the three extra stitches at the end of row eight and then we're going to do a front post dc here single crochet and the quarter stitch and snippy snap Oopa. that's row nine no eight <laughs> all done <laughs> Okay, we're up to row nine. We're going to do color A again. It's just the main color. And we do the border stitch at the beginning of the row. And then one front post here as the extra stitch at the beginning of row nine. And now begins the repeat. And we're going to do one single crochet. Three double crochets here. And then a single. And then a front post double. Single, front post double. And then the seven are single crochets. Closing up this box here. And then we are going to do all these here, which are what, two, four, six, nine as double crochets. All these nine in a row here. I don't 
don't have any nine double crochet stories. <laughs> That's too short. It would be like I have to be like a knock knock joke. <laughs> well, thank you, son. <laughs> Okay, that's nine double crochets. Then we're going to do one single crochet. Three doubles. And that's the repeat for row nine. And then we get to the three extra stitches at the end of the row. And that's a single crochet. One front post double. Like so. And the border stitch at the end of the row. Snippity snap, whoop whoop. There we go. Row nine, all done. On to row, oops, ten. <laughs> okay. Uh, the beginning stitches here are the, the border stitch and one single crochet. And now we start to repeat for row ten. And that's one front post double crochet here to start. And then we do a three single crochets and a front post double and then a single and front post double and then we're going to do seven single crochets. So, and then actually I'm going to see how I used to do this one. If I did it as a, as a front post or as a one minute. So, here you can see better the front post. Okay, look here. Okay, here. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Hmm. Fuck me. I was doing these all the way up as front posts. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna undo and redo the first nine rows. So, but basically, what we're doing here is here is what I'll repeat. And so, here are the front post ones. You see how they're gonna. And these are front post, and these are front post, and then always I've just done the sixth and all the seventh one, which is really marking a line between these two tiles, was a front post. Okay, I'm gonna do it as a front post from here on out, and um, yeah, but it does look nicer to have those straight lines when it's just one double crochet standing like solo. So it's so much nicer when you do it like this than when you do it. Like here in the beginning, I guess I started off the same way as I did now and then just did a front post here. We'll just start with it here. Here, um, And this is not the end of any universe. So, but, voila. but from here on out in the blanket, uh, we're going to do that one always as a front post. Okay, and this all went to Shabbat. This is going great. <laughs> so, uh, ten. Okay. So just when you continue, then always the last one here of this block is a double is a front post as well, because that's really the line that marks the between the two tiles. Okay, so we're gonna just do it as a front post now and from here on out. Uh, so we are over and we do this this single this double crochet here as a front post. Okay, and then we're gonna do these here nine as a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet. Here. And then three singles. And then the three extra stitches here after this was the repeat then and then the the three stitches after is one front post double one two 
one single crochet and the border stitch. Okay. All done with row 10 and have fixed this here. So in theory, the, this one and this one here as well should have been front post. Uh, yes. So, I mean, I know it comes as a huge surprise that I'm not perfect and or really well organized. <laughs> but there you go. Row 10 then. All done. On we go. Like nothing ever happened. <laughs> On we go to row 11. And the beginning stitches here are this, the border stitch and one double crochet for pro, um, uh, front post. And this is 11, so we did that. And then we're going to do one single crochet. And then three double crochets. We have now started the repeat. There was one single and then the three doubles. And then we're going to do one single crochet and one front post double here. And then we're going to work single crochets all over these here, which are how many? Two, four, six, nine. Two, three, four. Eight and nine. And we're going to continue and do three, four, six more of single crochets here. Now we've we've started uh, finished the first tile and we're on to the second one. We're going to do three, 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 four, six. Yeah, six more. So it was nine plus six. Six here, and now we do uh, three double crochets. One single, three double, whoop. And that's the repeat for row 11. And now to finish it off with the three extra stitches at the end of the row, we're going to do a single crochet, front post double. And the border stitch. Like so. Snippity snap. Whoop whoop. That's row 11 done. Okay, and each tile is what? 16. So we're we're more than halfway there with them. With the first set of tiles. On to row 12. I did the border stitch and one single crochet. And then I'm going to do a front post double crochet. That's the first stitch here of the repeat. One front, one double crochet, and then we're going to do two, no, three single crochets. One front post double. Whoop. And then we're going to do double, single crochets here all the way until we get to the, the end of this tile. The first tile of the repeat. Um, I am guessing these are what nine. Got a trade for it. Yeah, nine stitches there, and then the front post. Double crochet here to divide the two tiles. And then the second one here, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five single crochets. And one double. Three singles. And one front post double, like so, three singles, and then that's the end of the repeat for row 12, and then the extra three stitches at the board at the end are one front post double, one single crochet, and the board stitch. Whoopa! It's going quickly. So that's row 12. Just four more rows until we're halfway there with the tiles. Yay! 
up to row 13. I did the two extra stitches at the beginning of row. This time it's the border stitch and the front post double. And now we start the repeat and we're going to do one single crochet, three double crochets. And then the rest of this tile all the way here is just single crochet. We can count them if you, obviously this is all in the chart, but if you don't have that, then trade field is six, that's 11 single crochets there in a row. And now we're on to the second tile here, and we are going to continue and do more single crochets. So I get you, um, we're going to do four more here, one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to do one double crochet, one single, three double, one single and three double again. So the chart, the, the, this pattern is, I think it's all chart. No, I think oh, it's both reason and charts, I think, but it has loads of charts. And you can really play with this. This is a fun setup, this Stairways to Heaven one, but it's just, there's so many possibilities. Jesus. Jeez, Louise. Hello, okay. That was the three double crochets here to finish the repeat. And then we're going to do for the extra three st stitches, one single crochet, one front post double and the border stitch. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Like so. Whoopa. Okay, and that was row 13 then. So just a few more rows to go until we're halfway there. You see, we're almost there with the tops, yeah. <laughs> On we go to row 14. And we started that here before the repeat with the border stitch and one single crochet. And now we're gonna do our repeat and we start with a front post double crochet like so and then we're just going to do single crochets here for the whole of this tile here and that would be then what 13 single crochets right three four six yeah after nine, oops one split Tia at level twelve. Oh, thirteen. Thirteen, and then we're on to the second tile, and that one starts with fourteen. Right, with the way. Thirteen, yeah. Okay, and then we do the the uh, the next one here is a double crochet, front post double crochet because we're marking the line between the two tiles, like so. And then we're going to do four more double crochets, but just normal ones here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So that was just like one double, one front post double here, and then the 13 single crochets, and then the front post double, and then four double. And now we're going to do one single crochet. One front post double here, and three single crochets, one front post double, and three singles. And that is the repeat for row 14. And now for the three extra stitches at the end of the row, we're going to do a front post double. And then a single crochet and finish it off with a border stitch as always. Snap, snap, boop. You lady who? 
that's row 14 then all done on to row 15 and the two extra stitches here at the beginning of the row is the border stitch and a front post double and now we are going to do a one single crochet here and then 13 double crochets here in a row and now i have to say the tell a story that's what 13 double crochets in a row mean <laughs> And I'm putting myself on the spot. I have no story to tell. I have, I have no, no. Why, why would I do that? <laughs> you can count also. It's, it's always novelty. But this is really, yeah, this is the second to last row here of this set of tiles. Because the, the tiles are all 16 stitches by 16 stitches. We're just doing two, a set of two tiles here. Or a set of four tiles total to get this pattern, the stairways to heaven one. And so this is the, after this one is just really closing up the grid, sort of. Okay, this was a horrifically bad, well it just wasn't a story at all, was it? But we do have 13 double crochets, which is what was our purpose. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a single crochet here and here, so that's five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then there's a front post double. Every time you're doing a front post double, that is like you're working it into the first front post. Like it's not where you've done it uh, for a while, you know, up. Then you always you want to give it actually extra TLC there, extra pull here up. So because these really want to sort of give a bit of a bad pull here at the beginning, you see. This here opens up. So those can can um, bear with some extra, extra, extra lean, <laughs> whoa, I can't even talk, extra mm, uh, lean way here, okay, that's one front post double here, and then there's a single crochet, and then three, three double crochets in a row, and then one single, and three double and that is the repeat for row 15 and then for the three extra stitches at the end of the row we're going to do a single crochet front post double crochet and the border stitch like so Oop. very nice and you can see how the pattern is lining up now and coming along okay so this is row 16 and this closes up the first set of tiles here out of the four and so now actually we're almost just working single crochets all over but doing the double crochets down just down where we have the lines and the, this box here actually yeah okay so at the beginning of the row i did the, the border stitch and one single crochet and then we start the repetition of 28 stitches and we're going to do a front post board uh, front post double crochet and then 13 single crochets here all over these double crochets from last row like so 12 and 13 and then we're going to do a front post double here to do the dividing line of the two tiles and then these here four are, are double crochets. Two, uh, three, and four. And then we're going to do one single, one front post double, three singles, one front post double three singles and that is the repeat and yes you can see now we have finished both our little tiles and now for the three extra stitches at the end of the row we're going to do a front post double one single crochet and the border stitch whoop <laughs> like so are you ready who <laughs> Okay, so now we're halfway there. And so actually for the second half here, I'm just going to show you all of it because I said I would. Um, 
uh, you can, we're just going to do this tile here and this tile here. Like that's, that's really all there is. So we're just going to use these tiles here too again, but this one goes here and this one goes here now for the next second bit here. Okay, we're halfway there. 16 rows done. And on y va. Okay, on to the second half. Uh, this row actually was so simple. It's row 17 that I didn't even show you. I'm just going to show you here. It's all just single crochets because we're starting sort of a new grid for the, for the second set of... Uh, tiles you see we're starting here now on this upper part so it was all just single crochet so I just went ahead and did it so here the extra stitches is the border stitch and the front post double crochet and then the 28 repeat is just single crochet all along always into the back loop of course and then the last three stitches here after the repeat was single crochet front post double and the border stitch so that was row 17 and i will confess also that i took a little break between the tiles now and have now poured myself a very nice sort of faux sangria here <laughs> for the second part uh it's just sangria with some fanta lemon and ice but it's uh so refreshing so i got my little prize going and I, I don't know about you guys and we're gonna go on to row 18 and there we go okay it's not the best but we'll do and here this is a very simple row as well but we're sort of establishing the grid now here we start with the border stitch do one single crochet and then we're gonna do one double crochet to mark the beginning of the first tile and that's going to be a front post because it's in a line like so and then we're just going to do 13 single crochets here over for the first tiles nothing happening here one two three four five six seven eight I'm pretty sure that I'm running out of the grey, which is a bit of a shame. But I will find something just similar. And that's 13. And then we're going to do the post double crochet here to mark the, the separation of the two tiles. Okay, so this is row 18 here. The first bit. And then here on the other side, we're going to do three single crochets for the next tile. So, yeah. Oops. two and three and then we're going to do one double cro crochet and we're going to do that post post uh, front front post like so because this is going to be a line that's coming up here and then we're going to do one single crochet and then one double and we're going to do that as a front post as well because that's a continuance of this line here these front posts really just make all the lines going here way smoother than if you don't. Okay, and what is next? Da, 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 da. We did we did three single crochets, double, single, double, and then there's one single. And then we're gonna do what was it, seven? Fury, yeah. So that's two, four, no. No, eight, two, eight, three, four, five. Yeah, it's six here, double crochets. Okay, it's one single here, and then it's six double crochets. And yeah, it's really seven, but the seventh is really outside of the repetition. That's why I got a bit confused. I'm going to work this one here as a front post because I'm just continuing these here. And six. And that's the repetition. 
for row 18. And now the three stitches that are at the end of the row, we're going to do a front post double here. That was the seventh there. And then one single crochet and the bottom stitch at the end of the row. And whoopa, your lady. <laughs> Uh, row 18, all done. Whoopa! <laughs> On to row 19. And as always, when we're working with color A, we started with a border stitch and one post front, front post double crochet. And then we go into the repeat, and that is one single crochet and then 13 double crochets. Okay, I went ahead and did all 13, so I didn't have to say, tell a story. <laughs> okay, and then we do one single crochet here in the dividing bit, and then we're going to do three double crochets for the second tile now. Two and three. Single, double, single, double. And then the six here are going to be single crochets. Yeah, this is this is not even yarn chicken. Like it's just not gonna, it's not gonna last. <laughs> okay, so that's the repeat, and then we do three extra stitches at the end, single crochet, front post double. And the border stitch at the end of the row. And snippity snap. Yolity hoo. <laughs> row 19, all done. And as you can see here now, we're basically just doing this tile that we're starting here now. It's just this one here. So this one is going here and this one is going here. You see, it starts the same. Okay, and on we go. Row 20. And we're doing color. And I'm just going to do the first two stitches here off camera and do one border stitch and one single crochet, like always. And we start with color B. And now we start to repeat, and we're going to do one front post double crochet here. And then it's just all single crochets over the double crochets. Obviously, well, we can't do anything else, can we? So that's 13 single crochets here. Okay, getting there. Like so, that's 13. And then we're going to do one front post here to divide the two tiles. And then we're going to do three single crochets, one front post double, do, do, do. one single front post double, single, and then six double crochets. And again, remember, we're doing so many double crochets in a row here with these blocks of three rows in a row with six all there huddled together. So we want to try and keep these extra tight, the, the double crochet stitches here, if you can. Even do one of the three rows as half double crochet, like if you're very ridiculous and square like I am in my heart. <laughs> But I mean, it works like this, like you see, I did it just normally here and it's fine, but it does get a bit bulky, you see. Okay, so that's the end of the repetition here for row 20. Um, and then there's the three stitches at the end of the row and they're always the same when you're doing color B. So it's just a front post double, single crochet and the border stitch. Do, do, do. Whoopa. Nice one.
row 20 all done. Okay, on to row 21. Start of row, as always, for color A. And now we do the repeat. There's just single crochets here. How many is it? Uh, Eleven. Yeah. Eleven single crochets. That's the beginning of the repeat, the 28 stitch repeat. Yum, yum, yum. This is coming along. We're well on our way. Okay, and 11. And then it's three double crochets. One and two and three. And then we start on the next tile. And first is just one single crochet into the, the divider here. And then we're gonna do three double crochets. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One single, one front post double, one single, and another front post double. And remember when it's the first one in a row, then you want to take extra care to give it some slack here, because otherwise these will want to sort of open up a lot here. Okay, and then it's just six single crochets here over our little block Oop. Shona, five and six and then we just finish the row exactly the same as always before i think i'm going to stop saying that because it's always the same for each color for color a which we're using now then it's one single crochet one front post double and the quarter stitch. And that was row 21. Aupa. On to row 22. We start the same as always with color B, the border stitch and one single crochet. And then we're going to do a front post double, starting our repeat here with a front post double. And then we're going to do what? It was 11, so we're going to do 10, no, 9 single crochets. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then there's one double crochet here. And then 3 singles. Like so. And then we do the front post double crochet here that divides the two tiles. And we start with the second tile and that's three single crochets. One front post double. One single, no, oops. One single, one front post double. One single and then six double crochets. Dee, dee, dee. Mm -hmm. So happy that I have my record player again, a, a work, a functioning record player in my studio. But listen to this. This this is what I'm singing. It's, um, it's, a, it's a song with a band called Karate. Kar karate. Or should I say it like Ross Karate? <laughs> Unagi. <laughs> Simon skin roll. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the repeat. Six double crochets. All nice and neat. And then we finish as, oh, as always. The same as always before with color B. Yes, 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 yes. And you can drop a line if you've got that reference. <laughs> I would appreciate that. <laughs> Sound skin roll. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, that was row 22. And on we go. Okay. So we're starting row 23. And I'm starting here behind the scenes with one 
um, border stitch and one front post double crochet and then we start the repeat ah oh, yes okay so this is one single crochet and then we are going to do nine double crochets here in a row one oops Yeah, but great record with karate. It's called Unsolved Record. I love it. One of my favorites. Okay, that's eight and a nine. Oh, this is definitely going to be the, the death of my, my tiny bit of gray that I have left. I have to find something to substitute it with. Again, just amazing. I'm, a, I'm an organizational miracle. That's what I am. <laughs> 23 okay so we did in the repeat one single crochet and then we did nine double crochets one single three double and then this next tile starts with one single crochet here into the dividing first bit and then we are going to do three double crochets These are all just normal double crochets, no front posts up till now. And then we do one single, and now we do a couple of front posts. Here's a front post double, and then a single. Whoop. And then a front post double again. And then six single crochets. Oh, well, maybe we'll do for... One more row now. I think I'll have to find some some st substitution. Okay, that's six. And that's the end of the repeat for row 23. So as you can see, we're doing this same bit here, here, and the same bit here, here. So you've already really done all of this, but it's just, just putting it. But So you can do the whole repeat if you want with the video. Uh, as promised okay and then i finish this row here like always in color a and da whoopa you're ready <laughs> row 23 all done okay row 24 and we started as always with color b and then the repeat here is one front post double crochet for the dividing bit here and then we're going to do nine single crochets it's just single crochet into all the dc's from last round row there we go and then we're going to do a front post double crochet and this is the first one of his line so remember to be extra generous with the slack like so and then three single crochets that's the repeat for the first tile and then on to the second tile we start with the divider the front post double crochet and then you do three single crochets one front post double one single one front post double and then the rest here is single crochet that's going to be seven single crochets here and as you can see this really like the pattern really leads you on so once you've done a couple of rows like if you after you've done just this first repeat uh, of your blanket then you don't really need to watch the the pattern anymore you can just watch your blanket you know okay so that was seven and then we just finish it as always with color b we start with the front post double crochet and then the single and the border stitch there we go so this one was a really easy one just single crochets here and going down here continuing with all these lines here that was row 24 okay on to row 25 um i found the substitute it's not the same one uh i mean it was just going to be a little 
It's not so much different, but this is kind of has a bit, of, a bit of purple in it. This one is just gray, but I mean, it was just to do the sample anyway. So uh, no harm, no foul. It's also good for me to know that this here bit then takes 10 grams of Katona. Hmm. Yeah. Because this was like a, a mini skin. I'm using the mini skin from Katona. So that's, I've used 10 grams here of color A. I have no idea for color B. There's there's lots of um, yarn stats in the pattern for all kinds of, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start here with our, well, accidentally new color A. And we're going to do the border stitch and the front post double here. It's pretty close, I mean. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, for educational purposes, this is no, this, uh, this has no bearing. So... We let us power on. <laughs> okay, we are on row 25. Oh my God, we're almost finished. Uh, and we're just going to be going here and doing a few, what is it? Two, four, six, six, seven single crochets. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that's the beginning of the repeat here for row 25 and then we're going to do three double crochets and one single and three double oops And that was the first tile, and then we start the second one with one single crochet, three double crochets. I'm not even watching like the but like I have the pattern open just to, because uh, but I mean well, you don't really have to watch very much what's happening. I just know what's happening. So three double crochets, one single crochet here, one front post double, and then just single crochets here over. The rest, which are how many? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, four, seven, yeah, eight. And then we finish the same as all color A rows. Like so. And that was row 25. You can't really notice it very much, can you? Ah, lovely. On to row 26, and that's color B. So we started the same as always. And then to start the repetition, we do our one front post double crochet. That's the beginning of the repetition. Then five single crochets. Three, four, and five, and then there's a double. Three singles. And a front post double. Whoops, got split there. And I was taking care to give it slack. And then three single crochets. That's the first tile. And on we go with our repeat. And we're gonna do the front post double here. That divides the two tiles, and then it's three single crochets. One front post double, whoops. And then it's all just single crochets here. And I'm not sure how many, we will just count them. Three, three, four, five. Yeah. Nine. Okay, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, it's nine. And that's the end of the repetition. And then we just finish as always with color B. Front post double there. 
and a single crochet and the border stitch. And voila! Opa! That was row 26. Only four more rows back, uh, left of the pattern, and then there's one extra to close it up. I'm going to show it to you that you just do at the end. <laughs> Lovely. On we go. Row 27. And I started as always for color, color A, and then we start the repeat here with one single crochet. De -de -de -de. And then there are four single crochets, so that's five total. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you do one double. Whoop. And a single. Three double, one single and three double. Okay, that's the first tile done then. The repeat for row 27. We're almost finished. And then we're going to do for the second one, one single crochet, three double crochets. And then it's just single crochets here. There's two, four, six, and it's ten single crochets. That's the end of the of the repetition. Ten single crochets here. And actually, I'll just do it like this. <laughs> Finish it off camera. It is like it gets a bit tedious to do it, like with camera in between me and the and the crochet. It's not the best thing. Okay, and then I'm just finishing it the way that you finish all row with color A. So that finished it with ten single crochets, and then the normal finish. Okay, so that's row 27 all done. Just a few more rows to go now then. Woohoo! Okay, on to row 28. Starting as always with color B. And then we're going to do one front post double crochet here. Beginning of the repeat. And then four double crochets, just normal ones. Two. Three. And four. You see, now we're doing this same little box we did here. We're doing that one here. Okay, on we go. One single, one front post double, and it's the first one in its line. So let's be extra generous. Generous when we pull up here, and then there's three single crochets, and one front post double, and three singles. So that's the first tile done then, the repeat. And the second one, we start with the front post double crochet to mark the difference between the two tiles. And then this is just, yeah, this is just all single crochet. Yeah, that must be then 13 single crochets, yes. Each time there's really 14 stitches and 14 rows. And of course, I'm talking about each tile as one unit, like this is one tile here, this is one tile here, and now we're almost finished with the second set. Okay, just a double crochet front post and then 13 single crochets. That's the repeat here for row 28, and then we finish as we always do with color B. Back of the yarn. Whoopa! Nice one. Okay, so it's just two more rows actually to finish the pattern for the stairways to heaven. Woo woo! On to row 29. Start as always with color A. And then we are going to do five single crochets. The start of the repeat for row 29. Okay. 
four and five and then there's one front post double crochet the first of its line so we're gonna give extra slack here okay and then one single three double one single and three doubles two and three that's the first tile there and then we do start the second one is one single crochet and then it's just all double crochets it's four, 13 double crochets here all over Okay, I've done the 13 here, double crochets, and then we finish this row 29, exactly the same as always for color A. Oops. Opa. That's row 29 done. On to row 30, and that's the last row of the pattern, because then you're always just going to be repeating from rows 3 to 30, again and again. And so now we're closing up, really, our second set of tiles. And we're going to start, we started just as always here, with color B, and then we're going to do the repeat is front post double crochet for the divider here of the tiles. And then we're going to do four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. One single, one front post double. Three single, one front post double. And three singles. And that's the first tile there done for row 30. And then we start the second one and we do the front post double crochet here to divide. And then it's just all single crochets. So that's 13 single crochets here over. And so exactly as it's the, the pattern, this four tile pattern is 28 stitches wide. It's also 28 stitches long so you always repeat these 28 rows from 3 here to 30 and then you just start over again with row 3 and go on and on so this is the last row here it was just 13 single crochets here for the second tile and then we do the three extra stitches front post double crochet and one single and the Border stitch, and I think we should go whoopa your lady for my auntie Helga. <laughs> Hannah Skaul. Cheers to her in the summerland. <laughs> okay, so this is done then. So when you want to do your repeats, you just always do, you can do as many repeats as you want of the 28 stitches here for the width, and then as many uh, repeats as you want from row 3 and up to 30. And then actually... At the end, you add one row, that is row 31, which you just do after you finish everything. So this would be just the last row of your blanket or anything after you've done uh, all the repeats you want uh, on the length from, from row 3 to 30. And then we're just going to frame it up once we finish and do one extra row in color A. And it's just the border stitch and one front post here. It's just to complete this little... You see the little frame that we have here all around. So I want to have that frame here as well in the color A. So I'll do one front post here in the beginning. And then I'll just do one single crochet all over the, the piece. And like I said, this is just the absolutely last row of your project. Like if you're, this would be the finishing row then of your blanket or whatever. You do not repeat this. The repeat is rows 30 to, no, 3 to 30. 
it's a 28 stitch 28 row repeat pattern and like i said once you've done this like once you've done this once now and then you start the next repetition like you can just honestly just i i didn't watch the pattern anymore and then i just watched i just looked at what i was doing before so now next one I know that the beginning here is going to be what I did here. So I just watched this instead of the pattern because it's all, you know, symmetrical and and nice. And it's such a fun pattern, really. I had so much fun playing with it. I'd love to make more projects with it. I'm going to do the purse for my mum. And there's some uh, tile, like so many arrangements you can do. And the, the, the pattern itself comes with loads and loads of, of suggestions and, and charts for you to play with. Okay, and so now I've done all the single crochets here, and then I'm just going to finish it up with one front post double crochet to finish off my little frame here. And the border stitch. I have to do like a big old jo yodeling now. Woo! A yodeling! Okay, so that's all done. I'm just going to go and grab my blocking map, mat so that I can show you how I block it as well. Because there are like a tiny little tweaks that you can always do just to get it a bit better. And I'm going to show you that as well. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, this never looks quite right through the camera actually. So, <laughs> okay. So, first I just pin it down so that it's straight. And I just put my ends in between and then I just use some sort of like old spray thing with water to spray it a bit so that it gets, and that's really, and it gets more flexible when you have natural fibers, at least, and I'm sure every, all the fibers. Okay, and so once it's, it's uh, wet, then you can sort of just formulate it a bit. And so, like I was saying that these here parts get a bit big, so you maybe want to take you know, um, just, you know, you don't have to always have to put even pins in it, just sort of, you know, um, you know, make it nice. This could be a little bit down here. And so usually it's the, well, this one's pretty good, but you can do like the first DC it's going to be like a line of front post ones. You can take those a bit down because they will want to sometimes open up a bit. But these kind of look okay, I think. What do you think? I mean, it's never going to be like complete crazy, you know, lines. Maybe this one can come a bit small down like this. Just to be a bit more. But it looks pretty good, right? And then you just leave it to dry. And voila! Hope you have fun with this, you guys. I'm very happy with myself that I finally did it and finished this because I like did like a teaser like uh, six months ago. And you've all commented and I've done nothing. So finally! Woohoo! Cheers for me. Ciao! Whoop! <laughs>